Hello everybody, welcome back to more Steel Rising. This is going to be the last video, and we'll be dealing with the last boss. At this point in the game, there is no point in keeping hold of anything, so whatever consumables you'd like to use, feel free to use them. Any anima that you have that is spare, spend it on stuff. I spent mine on improved petrification grenades because it works on everything, and it'll work just fine on this boss too. I think she's ice aligned, so bringing a fire along will work just fine. I've got an ice pistol, probably not going to do very much with that. And this boss is also vulnerable to parrying, particularly in the um, final phases. I'll try to make sure I show that without just going too too um, heavy on the on the grenades. So let's just head on in. We'll get this started. I'm going to run past all this. It's just no use to you to fight these at this point. Skip all this. It is called the Iron Queen. I knew it was something like that. Okay, so dodging that's not an issue. You can see. Very easy to get a stun on there. Oops, excuse me. Um, so we have more than enough improved grenades to pretty much cheese this entire fight if we want to. Keep the regen on. Might as well have regen on the entire fight. <clears throat> now, oop, that's not the one I wanted to show. That wasn't it either. But I quite like the boss design for this one. I do like the peacock design. This is quite cool. They have definitely improved the performance here, though. This was terrible when I was doing this live. She's not doing the move I wanted to show you though. So in the later phases she will um, she will start to do like this jumping spinning attack which is quite difficult to avoid but it's not too bad to parry which is the main one that I want to show so that's what I'm trying to get done here. Can I freeze you then? Oh man, you can take forever to freeze. <laughs> Tons of ranged attacks. We might as well just be like sending them back at you realistically. Get away that. Here it is. So this is the one that you want to parry. That's what I wanted to show. <laughs> so when she's just coming out, oh, I did that too early. But just as she starts coming, heading down, that's when you want to um, get the parry up on that. Otherwise, I find it really difficult to actually dodge that one. So <clears throat> that was the main one I wanted to show you guys. It's parrying that. Which means now I can just. Oh, Unfortunately, very vulnerable to petrification. I like that they kept the bosses vulnerable to these things. Um, it is good, really. But I wish it was more based on the build of the character. We'll skip all of this. There's tons of story stuff incoming. Uh, you guys go ahead, watch it. Watch over all of it. I get to say thank you very much for joining me for the entire series. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Um, and hopefully I will catch you in a future one.